Thank you guys. My name is Mr. Mpepu and today's date 26 September 2024 and the time there 49 minutes past 12. With that being said guys, Sanbonani, Dumelani, Afsheni, hello. Nah, guys, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe if you are a returning learner or a student. Thank you for being here. We are, today we'll be covering fertilization and development of a zygote blastocytes, implantation, gestation and the role of placenta. Thank you, thank you for being here guys. Today, uh, wait up until the end of this video where you will find what we'll be doing tomorrow, uh, Friday, 27th of September, right? Till the end of the video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing. Let me not waste your time, guys. Yesterday, we managed to cover up until this activity, your menstrual cycle, right? So today, we'll be starting with our fertilization and development of zygote to blastocytes. So my timer on, right? Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here. But during copulation, during sexual intercourse, the penis is going to be inserted into the vagina and the sperm cells are going to be released through ejaculation closer to our cervix, right? And then the sperm cells, they're going to swim through the cervix up to our uterus and through our fallopian tube right know that our haploid ovum was released during ovulation right it's going to enter our fallopian tube and then if the ovum there is present in our fallopian tube one sperm cell there may penetrate through the jelly layer and fertilize the ovum resulting in our zygote which is diploid right and then the nucleus of this ovum together with the nucleus of a sperm cells they are going to fuse resulting in our fertilization from fertilization we are going to have our zygote there and then this zygote is going to divide by mitosis as the result as it moves down our fertilization our fallopian tube towards our uterus right mitosis continues and a solid ball of cells form a uh, known as morula there and then that morula is also going to develop to our hollow fluid 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 filled sorry a ball of cells called a blastocyte hollow fluid filled ball of cells right and then once the ovum is fertilized this takes approximately five days to form a blastocyte so after fertilization you have five days right as you can see illustration there our ovum there it will be released from our ovary and then the sperm will be entering this side and then they are going to meet somewhere here in our fallopian tube and fertilization is going to happen and then from there we are going to form our zygote and then that zygote is going to undergo mitosis two cell stage four cell stage eight cell stage up until it form a morula there right and then that morula is going to develop to our blastocytes and then that blastocyte is going to be implanted there in our endometrium and then that's what is going to happen if fertilization took place right we are going to move to our implantation of the blastocytes and gestation and gestation right and then these blastocytes they they moves down our fallopian tube into our uterus where it embed itself into our endometrium right and we learn that this takes place as follows right the outer layer of blastocytes they secrete an enzyme that is going to break down a small portion of a thickened ure uter uter uterine wall causing it to become softer right and then in that softer area we see that our blastocytes they are going to sink in and then the outer layers they are going to develop into two extra membranic membrane called amnion and chorion chorion to those who want to choose chorion right and then those chorion there they are going to extend a finger like outwards uh, called our chorionic chorion or chorion between the two you'll choose right you didn't comment last time it's going to, they called a chorionic villi, right, into our endometrium and form part of placenta, which is going to secrete our, 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 our progesterone, right? And then our blastocytes is now called our embryo from that stage, right? And then we have our gestation, which is just a pregnancy called a pregnancy. And then this is the time which our embryo develops inside our uterus, right, to form a fetus, fetus to a full baby. And then this lasts for 40 days or 280 days or nine months. And then after 12 weeks an embryo is known as fetus where our placenta now is starting to produce our progesterone to maintain this pregnancy right as you can see that the fetus and then its extra embryonic membranes we have our vagina there and cervix closing that in right we have our amnion forming our amniotic sac producing amniotic fluid and then we also have our fetus there inside we have our umbilical cord joining our placenta and fetus we have our uterus there joining the placenta and the mother and we also have our fallopian tube right and then from there barry we have to understand or we learn that our chorion there on the outside they are going to form our chorionic veil while our amnion there they are going to become our amniotic fluid filled amniotic sac Right, and then this amniotic fluid also has or plays a very much important role in our pregnancy because it's going to protect our fetus against mechanical injury or there will be a shock absorber, and they are going to prevent dehydration and they are also going to maintain temperature. Right, and then after all, they are going to allow our fetus to free 
right a free movement of filters as it grows and develop it's going to allow our filters to move freely inside that womb right from there from our filters we have our umbilical cord there which is the attachment between our uh, this is the cord that attach our filters to our placenta right it connect it contains umbilical blood veins there are two of them that are umbilical arteries and one which is our umbilical vein our umbilical vein is going to carry oxygenated blood and nutrients and water and other substances from our placenta to our filters. So we want to see this one a vein carrying all this oxygenated blood and other a necessary substance from our placenta to our filters. We also have to see our arteries, two of them carrying our deoxygenated blood and waste product from our filters there to the placenta right and then as you can see where the placenta is just a temporary organ we learn about this where blastocyte implants implanted itself and then this it allows the transfer of things via the process of diffusion right between the mother and the fetus hence now we see that the blood between the two actually cannot mix or they, that blood does not mix you know about this right we are just doing a revision fast 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 and then from there we move to our uterus as you can see someone is pregnant there we have our uterus there and then with our uterus we have our placenta and then we went and cut that portion and zoom it as you can see there this one will be our placenta having our maternal vessels which will be the blood capillaries right and then we also have our umbilical cord there now collecting those nutrients and substances giving away carbon dioxide taking on oxygen and then as you can see but this is an umbilical cord and we are going to have our umbilical artery which will be transporting that co2 from the fetus to the mother here and we also see our umbilical vein which will be sub uh, transporting that oxygen from the mother here to our fetus together with nutrients and water and all necessary substances right and then we see that our placenta has the following function our placenta mostly mostly allows diffusion right diffusion of what of nutrients we want to see nutrients moving from the mother or from the placenta to the fetus we want to see oxygen moving from the mother to our fetus we want to see carbon dioxide moving from our fetus this side to our mother there's those waste products now moving from our fetus to our mother all that is being the key function the function is a placenta or you can just say this is the point of attachment of our fetus and the mother this is where the mother and the fetus get to be in contact with one another then from there we see our umbilical cord joining the baby and then we have our fetus that side but after 12 weeks here we see that our placenta secret progesterone to maintain our pregnancy it was corpus luteum that side and then this side now after 12 weeks our progesterone now is being produced by our placenta we are done with today's lesson guys activity 5 fertilization so first first let's do this activity so that we'll discuss what we'll be doing tomorrow the moment you see a sperm cell and an ovum know what you are doing know what is happening if you don't if you don't see uh, guys let's be serious here if you see this and not know what is happening you still need to study further I'm already for I'm already for exam guys. So let's move on. But identify parts A up to G with A, B, C, D, E, F, G there. A will be our follicle cells or our layer of jelly. And then if this one is a layer of jelly, this one will be cell membrane. If this one are follicles, this one will be our our layer of jelly there. And then and then we'll have our cytoplasm, we'll have our sperm head or nucleus, we'll have our acrosome. We have our ovum nucleus and then we'll have our mitochondria there or our neck with mitochondria. Give the letter of the part that contains mitochondria that will be G, contains enzyme required to penetrate the ovum that will be E and then it will enter the ovum during fertilization that will be D. And then describe the developmental changes in a fertilized ovum until implantation occurs in a uterus. Guys, five, five marks there. Give it on how you you understand it we see fertilization we see a zygote zygote morula morula blastocytes blastocytes outer becoming two extra embryonic membrane and then forming a cherion and chorion right a, an amnion and a chorion and then also the outer layer producing enzymes so that the implantation can take place there right and then define gestation this is the period between implantation and childbirth where a, we see that a baby or the fetus is developing 40 weeks 280 days nine months if you want to be precise right so thank you for being here thank you for choosing me my name is mr paper that was it for today's lesson my timer my 10 minutes is up and then today tomorrow guys okay tomorrow thank you for being here guys thank you for choosing me thank you thank i appreciate you guys tomorrow we'll be dealing with our end of topic exam 
exercises reproduction in humans right so go and do this activity if you have time more we are talking about people who are cross nighting people who are slimming people who are losing energy who are, who are losing their fat because of studying guys go and do these activities and then we'll come and do them tomorrow in less than 10 minutes so when you will be last just be moving along with me while i'm giving those answers if you find it wrong you do a correction but we'll be doing this in less than 10 minutes guys tomorrow so if you have time today do this activity you can pause and another uh you can screenshot guys and another tip that i can give you for those who are following my video those who are viewing my video in a daily basis if you are using a smartphone guys rotate a smartphone rotate your phone so that the screen will be a full screen mode guys also select a full screen mode on our settings there and then from there go to our settings go to our advance go to quality advance that quality to 10 80 if i'm not mistaken 1080p guys full hd so that you'll be able to read and see what is happening here guys you can't be viewing these videos on a small screen mode guys so you have to have a full screen mode those who are using televisions ah you are good to go those who are using smart board ah, you are good to go just press a full screen mode and then you take out your book put on the earphones those who are using smartphone and then we learn together right no one is going to die here then we learn together from there you learn something i learn something we move on 2.2 .2, uh, of, of, of variant cycle right and then you'll see what is happening we'll do this tomorrow and then 2.3 our menstrual cycle there and then thank you for being here question three there as you can see you can pause guys you can screenshot if you want to do these activities let me not waste your time guys but these are the activities if you don't whatever if you don't have a textbook screenshot guys thank you the moment you see this you have to know what is happening here guys you can't be seeing this and not knowing what is happening here ah uh, guys yeah uh, uh, you are not ready we'll meet next year when we are doing these videos fully right we'll meet next year now uh, subscribe stay tuned buy the book cool wait for next year up until you when you see this you see that we have our amnion we have our amniotic psych we have our our amniotic fluid we have our umbilical cord we have our placenta we have our uterus we have our fallopian tube what is happening bef up before uh, or during fertilization up until implantation you know all those things the moment you see this thank you for being here the moment you see a female or a male reproductive system guys you know what is happening you know that somewhere somewhere we have our urethra Thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for choosing me. My name is Mr. Pape. Nasi spam. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Let's meet tomorrow. Sharp, sharp. Thank you. To be here, guys, is because Know that, guys. Mr. Pape loves you. Thank you. Until we meet again. Bye. Thank you. Africans are getting So, thank you, guys. Mazul. Sorry. Sorry.